from Vince Scully Avenue, welcome to Dodger Stadium. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Pittsburgh Pirates taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. First pitch coming your way next. All right, just about set to go. Showing the slab in today's game, Michael Grove. Well, there are going to be a lot of balls in play because of the ground ball rate. Important that the defense stays engaged in the game. I think it's critical. Tempo is there. If you work quickly, it helps the fielders behind you to stay engaged, to make those plays, and help you get through the innings. Now the left fielder, Josh Palacios. Off the mark there. And a count two and one. There's a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. Righty delivers. And a good eye there. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Bounce to third. Oh, look at the stop. Fires to first. And it's in time. Wow, what a play on both ends for the out. Here's the Pirates lineup now. They're facing a pitcher today who's prone to giving up homers. So we'll see. We might get some big swings here today. Yeah, I think the key, though, and the reason why he gives up those homers is that guys are locking in, they're aggressive, and they have a high confidence level. So I think if that's the approach these hitters take, with the stuff he's got there on the mound, yeah, there's a good chance that there'll be some balls that fly a long way. But you can't get too big in your swing. Otherwise, you'll be really frustrated after this one. Pitch misses inside, and it's 2-1. and one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Next offering is fouled back. And the 2 2. On the ground, Vargas. And they take oh. care of Reynolds for the out. Batting third, the center fielder. Jack Two outs, base is empty. Sawinski. Here's the center fielder, Jack Sawinski. You talk about the power and the speed together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. Yeah. Going to count one and two. One ball, two straight. That's down and in. Pitch. This one lifted in the air, left field. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that ends the inning. Bucks go down quietly. The Dodger is coming up, and we are scoreless. You're dialed into the show. Back here at the ballpark. And today's starter, Mitch Keller. Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. Bottom of the first. Mookie Betts will get us started. Chris, remember back in 2018 on August 9th at Toronto, Mookie Betts hit for the cycle. But it wasn't just a hit for the cycle. He needed a home run at his last at bat in the ninth and delivered. And a pitch. 
connect on the curveball struck him out. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Ball to strike. The pitch. Well, hitting for the cycle, one of the toughest things to do and most rare things to do in baseball, contrary to your beliefs. I'm not a cycle hater. I just would rather a single, two homers, and a double. Swing and a miss. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three. This one squared up down the left field line. If it's fair, it's gone. It's fair, and it is gone. He flexes his power with that swing. The Dodgers strike first. It's 1-0. Well, the guy's got a real hard fastball. You can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. That's in there. That is strike two. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. It's been a little bit of a shaky inning, but he's still in a good spot to get out of this thing without giving up any more runs. He's just got to turn the page and go after this next guy. Here is J.D. Martinez. Next pitch misses, two and one. Well, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning, and it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. Two and one to J.D. In the dirt, well done behind the dish. Muncie leads off first with two down to the inning. Lace down the line. Could be extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. Now a relay to the plate. He beats it safe. It's 2-0. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. David Peralta at the plate. That one drifts inside. The 2 1. And strike two. Got him. Good job at damage control right there. So they get two runs on two hits. One of them left the yard. On to the second now from Dodger Stadium. It's the Dodgers two and the Pirates nothing. Back here at Chavez Ravine. And now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. Santana. The wide, the kick, and the one two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one away. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. And now, Henry Davis. And one and two. One ball, two strikes. Why the kick the pitch? Battling here as he fouls it away. Next nope. offering misses. 
Two and two. It's a good take. Two strikes. Three. Got him. And there's two down. Well, really nice job of finishing the hitter off right there. Glove side command, fastball firm to the outside corner. Tell you what, very difficult to do anything with that pitch, even if you do swing. Now the batter now, Nick Gonzalez. Has some trouble with it. He decides to eat it, and they catch a break as they get a base runner at first. At seven, the second baseman, Rodolfo Castro. And now, Rodolfo Castro. And the pitch. Eight, two. Goes down looking. So one left for Pittsburgh. They trail it here, two nothing. Back here in LA, bottom of the inning, and now the center fielder, Jason Hayward. Hayward kicks and fires. Fall off foul. pitch next offering popped in the air right field Davis makes the catch and there's one gone batting eight the second baseman Miguel. and the batter now Miguel Vargas the count two and one Right side, and foul ball. And now it's three and two. Gary Simmons has the plate duty of this one. Well, with Simmons, it's not always your standard strike zone boog. It kind of gives a little extra in some parts of the zone, and then can be tighter in others. But I think the important thing is he doesn't get labeled as inconsistent. So you got to stay ready up there. Gonzalez oh. to first in time. Already two out here in the Not home half of inning number two. Miguel Rojas at the plate. Good contact guy, good defender. And it is nope. two and a one. Here comes a pinch. Palacios makes the catch, and that'll do it. Dodgers down in order, but they're on top two nothing. Welcome back. All set Leading for the start the of the inning. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, number 19. Triolo. 1-1 one, one now. Check oh, swing, and that's a ball. Whoa, recognize that pitch just in time, able to keep those hands back. That's in there. Two balls, two strikes. <laughs> Lined in the left center, base hit. Around first, heading for two. The throw in, and that's a lead off. Just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield.
Justin Hedges now. Runner leads away at second. Now fly ball to right center. Hops over the wall, and that's an automatic double. A run comes in on the play. He puts a great swing on that pitch and drives home the run, and that was always going to be a double, but the bounce over the wall just took the guesswork out of it right away. It was a nice swing. So the batting order turns over. Josh Palacios digs in now, grounded out his first time. Ball to strike. And there's a ball. Runner at second, nobody out. Swing and a miss. Two and two now. Left hand batter waits. Got him swinging. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there. At least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Brian Reynolds here. And the next pitch is way outside. And that's in for a strike. One out and a runner at second. Hard ground ball for a base knock. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Well, that's a smart decision to hold up with one out and the heart of the order coming up. Don't want to run into an out at home plate. Jack Sawinski, the next pirate to hit. He's 0 for 1. The 1 1. That one ripped, but foul. But I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. That one ran inside, almost got him. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Well, this is where the team aspect really comes into play on the offensive side of the game, right? I mean, missed opportunity to tie it up with the runner at third, one out, couldn't put the ball in play. So now it's time to pick him up. And that's where good teams, they go to. They operate on this level of next man up. That mentality is what causes them to win series, get into the postseason. And that helps keep the energy and morale high in the dugout. Now here is Carlos Santana. The next offering misses. And now three and one. Say you win. Popped up. Vargas under it. And that is the inning. One run in the inning, but they leave two. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Dodge. And welcome back. Set for the bottom of the third. Here's Mookie now. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hits for contact, so he delivers average. But there's on-base and slugging, too. That misses the zone. Now two balls and a strike. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power. But then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. Because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, He's a threat deep into the count as well. 
Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Betts on at first. Nobody out. Fouls one off. Two and two. Well, he missed a hittable off-speed pitch right there. Not sure exactly what the timing. Sometimes you get a backup breaking ball. You're expecting it to make its move at the end. It never does. And you're tied up. And that one hit to first. And that's just foul. The next pitch misses. Counts full three and two. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Rudder at first with no outs here. Ground ball left side could be two. Gonzalez toss to second out of Santana two. Pretty lengthy at bat right there, and usually the hitter wins that battle after seeing so many pitches, but instead the exact opposite, or maybe even worse than that, grounds into a double play. Tough at bat to swallow. The batter now will be Will Smith. One for one so far today with a solo homer in his first at bat. Ground ball left side. Throw on to Santana, and they get the out on Smith. Gets him easily, ends the inning. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Start of the fourth, and now the right fielder, Henry Davis. Henry Davis. Here's a 1 1. And a swing and a miss. You know, these Pirates do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there. And that might be the best news yet for this offense. This to third. Oh, what a stop. Over to first. And that's a great play for the out. Third base have to be so quick with their first step reactions. Hot shots like that. That's why they call it the hot corner. That's a perfect example, though. There's no way he gloves that one if he's not dialed in, anticipating something coming his way, staying on his toes every pitch. Really nice job to get back up, set himself, and make a strong throw across the diamond. And here is Nick Gonzalez. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Well, oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. The Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Rodolfo Castro. Next offering is in for a strike. And now it's one and two. Ground ball right side could be two. Fired to second, and that's two. Pitcher made the pitch, and his players made the play behind him. Nice job, 4-6-3, inning, ending double play. Back here at the ballpark, John Chavi and Chris Singleton with you, and leading off the bottom of the fourth, Max Muncy. The 1-1. One -one. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Makes the catch for the out. J.D. Martinez stands in. He doubled home a run in his first A.B. Both you and I know how much attention to detail that J.D. Martinez pays. Kind of makes me think of Albert Pujols, who has been called the machine at times during his career. I'd venture to say you can put J.D. Martinez in that same category, at least the way he approaches his craft. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a miss struck him out. Gassed it right by him. Two outs, base is empty. Stepping in, David Peralta. They say a win for J.D. Martinez, his teammate, when they won it all in 2018. Ian Kinsler 
called him the mad scientist. So maybe the machine and the swings and misses. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Dodgers go down quietly. They lead it 2 1. Back here at Chavez Ravine. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's the third baseman, number 19. The 1 1. Now a drag bunt, third base side. Down the line, and it's foul. Here's a 1 2. On the ground, out to short. It's through for a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Austin Hedges stands in. So now one and two. pitch swing and a ball popped up one away here in the fifth so the Pirates batting order turns over next to hit Josh Palacios runner at second here one gone as a pitcher you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed a base hit is probably going to be a big run so you really have to execute on the mound Here's the pitch. Runner breaks for third. That's in for a strike. And the throws offline. Safe at third. And now two and two. Knocks it down. Oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump off. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Here's the pitch, run around the goal. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The 1-2. In the dirt. I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and still late on it. You rarely see that. It almost yeah. makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. And here it comes. Runner on the goal. Throw to second. Out at second. That ends the inning. Well, try to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Jason Hayward. On the mound, he had a little trouble back in the first, but it's been a different story the rest of the way. Really settled into this outing nicely. Palacios on the move to his right. And it gets into the corner, but it's foul. The one-two. In the dirt. Gets it to first. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Well, obviously, that was nowhere near the strike zone. By the time it got to the plate, people at home watching are thinking, what's he swinging at? But I'll tell you, some of the break guys snap off these days is just devastating. It can be so tough to recognize where a pitch like that's going to end up. And now Miguel Vargas in for a strike. And it's one and two. Next pitch has popped up. Number 19 should have this one. And there's two down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. At the plate, Miguel Rojas. Flied out his first time. Next pitch is outside. Mookie Betts waiting for a turn at the plate.
Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's Mookie Betts. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. One of the things that's amazing, his first full season in 2012 with Lowell, he did not hit a single home run. And when I asked him about it, he said, oh, no, it was worse than that. I didn't hit a ball that well we'll hold that thought as that's the third out and we'll end the inning so no runs on no hits no errors and one man left we're through five we are tied 2-2 Caleb Ferguson gets the ball now bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit classic bullpen move right here so we'll see how it works out number 64 Caleb Ferguson Next offering is down low. Ball two. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Phil Bickford, the young right hander, up and throwing. Almonte, the hard throwing right hander, up as well. Here's a 2 1. That one is absolutely belted. Betts ranging back. Back some more. That one is gone. A solo shot. And just like that, they're out front. It's 3-2. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this. And bad was very patient. And it paid off. Digging in, Carlos Santana. The other way, and he beats the shift. Really nice job, a two-strike hitting in that at bat. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. And now it's going to be Henry Davis. Going to count one and two. One and two now. In the air, out towards left center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Now batting. Up next for the Pirates, Nick Gonzalez. Gonzalez. And now two and one. Santana leads off first with one away. And that's outside. pitch struck him out looking frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while you want to be ready to hit the fastball sometimes you can overthink things and I think that was the case right there And one and two. When you throw a fastball by a guy like that, I imagine it's got to feel incredible. Look for him to throw it again at some point. Little trouble with this one behind the plate, and the runner holds. Two two on the way. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And that is that. Cannonball coming. And the home team down to run. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Pirates with a new arm on the mound. Number 70. 
And this is an important part of this game. Tight score and still a lot of outs to get. So they're looking for a big outing out of him right here to get some critical outs. See the velocity, 97 with that fastball. Action in the pen down there. Angel Perdomo loosening up in case he's called upon by Derek Shelton. Holderman, the right-hander, loosening up as well. That one off the mark. Yeah, that's ball two. They tried to get him to go, chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. And that's a base hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. Well, that may end up being an at-bat. We go back to later on when this game is over. You can't do much better than that on a pitch that far outside of the strike zone. Got him to chase in the two-strike count, but he wasn't fooled. He hit that ball really well. Castro, the flip on a Gonzalez for one. Throw to first, but he beat it. Up next to the third baseman. Matt. Max Muncy at the dish. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. The 1-1. Hammer could be extra bases. Around second on his way to third. Headed for the plate. He'll score and they've tied it. It's 3 all. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. The 2-1. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. This one popped up. And that'll fall for a base hit. Muncy on his horse around third. He'll score easily. It's 4-3. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out. But he got the job done right there. One down, runner at first. And up next for Los Angeles, David Peralta. Down the left field line, base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Now Here's Jason Hayward. Right-handed reliever. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. Here comes the throw. Not in time. He's safe. And a run comes in to score. Comes through with the RBI. That ball right there landed in what they call a no man's land, meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. I mean, it's a tough play going back for the shortstop, but also for the outfielders trying to come in. they got to go a long way as well. On the mound now for the Pirates, Carmen Majinski. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep them within striking distance. Kicks and deals. And a swing and a miss. And two away now. Now it's the shortstop, Miguel Rojas. The bottom of the order here, Boog. You got to go right after this guy. As they look to pick up an add on run, and the number nine guy at the plate. Next pitch is outside. And it's two and one. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. That one fouled off. Two and two. Corners are occupied with two down.
Next pitch Wait, inside. Here. Three and two now. That two seam fastball is usually coupled with a slider away. And when a hitter's conscious of the pitch in, it's hard for him to cover middle away. And that's where a pitcher can really finish off that batter. Now a screamer into the outfield. Could be extra bases. One run is in. Hayward coming home. He'll score as well, and they lead by four. Everything came together for him. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. And now it's Mookie Betts. Bounce to the left side. Good solids. Tosses to first, and Betts is gone. That'll end the inning after a lot of scoring. But nine batters hit in the inning. Five come around to score. We're through six full. It's the Dodgers' seven. And welcome back. Now the third baseman, number 19. The two on. In the air, left field. Peralta under it. Hauls it in for the out. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay closed. Austin Hedges, the next pirate to hit. One for two. This is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position. And that's what he does. Throws it away. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And he's going to make it up to second base as that's a two-base error. Now that Just kind of sailed that throw and pulled it across his body towards the right field side of first base. And usually that means the fielder just didn't square up his shoulders to the target. And I think that throw had just as much to do with his footwork as anything else. In there. And so now one and two. The hitting's going to come around. He's going to figure it out. But right now, his big asset is the way he plays the game on defense. Base hit, center field. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners with one out. Right there, he does a now great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are Ryan a lot of hits there. Reynolds. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Brian Reynolds. One for three. And yeah, that's outside. Rudders are at the corners. One away. That one misses. And the count is three and one. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. And the 3-1. Swing and a miss. Great spot to be in right here for the pitcher. You can either strike this guy out or get a ground ball double play. Hedges on third. Palacios over at first with one away. Betts is on the move. And that will drop foul. Now snap throw to first. Palacios back in standing. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. The punch out there. And there's two away. Jack Sawinski, the next pirate to hit. He's already homered here in this one. Sawinski. And he deals. And a count one and two. Runners on first and third, two away. And a pitch. That misses. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Lifted in the air, right center field. Hayward under this one. 
And that's the third out. Pirates strand a couple. They're down four. It's seven to three. Welcome back, bottom of the seventh. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Freddie Freeman. Swing and a miss. One now one and two. two And that misses yes, off the outside out. edge. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Couple of hits in a row for him here. Just kept now it simple. It. Played Catcher. Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And up to the plate is Will Smith. He had a big swing for these guys way back in the first inning. Yeah, Boog, he didn't waste any time in this one. The solo shot really got his team going, and he's looking for more right here. Righty delivers. Swing and a ball popped up. Dunks one into left. Freeman headed for third. And now runners at the corners. Nobody out. Here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. To the right side, Castro. Quick feed to second for one. To first, not in time. Great effort there. On to first, save. So they get one, but a really nice try there. And here is J.D. Martinez. J.D. Right-hander kicks deals. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Sawinski makes the grab. Two down. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you cannot hang a breaking ball right there. Lucky it stayed in the ballpark. Yeah, 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 so up next, yeah, yeah. David Peralta. Muncy, the runner at first with two gone. Next pitch is inside, and it's two and one. That misses off the outside edge. Fastball in for a strike and a full count now. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Foul ball and it remains a full count. Left hand hitter waits. And he grounds one to the right side. Gathers and throws to first. Third out. They get a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Dodgers eight and the Pirates three. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Phil Bickford. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Carlos Santana. Here's a 1-1. He swings and fouls one off. At the belt and fires. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there, and I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle in, kind of has cutter action, and it just bunches you up to where you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. Swing and a miss. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Yancy Almonte appears to be getting loose. Brazier getting loose as well.
One down, base is empty. Got him. That's his second strikeout. Now batting. Two outs, base is empty. And now the shortstop, Nick Gonzalez. Next offering is down low. Swing and a miss struck him out. Nothing doing here for Pittsburgh. Can't chip away at an 8-3 deficit. Pirates with a new arm on the mound. Number 35. Now, and this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Number 35, Colin Holderman. Here's the center fielder, Jason Hayward. The center fielder. Yeah, the right hater deals. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Man, that slider bearing in on your hands like that, it's just so now tough to fight off. It's no kind of like base. a cutter. It just can eat you up, saw you off. Tell you what, hitters have nightmares about that pitch. Perfectly executed out there on the mound. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Now, Miguel Rojas. They're down two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. And the righty deals. Fouls one off. Two and two. Two outs. Next offering misses down and away. Mookie Betts waiting to bat for the Dodgers. The wind of the pitch. On the ground, right side. Slings to first. That is the inning. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here, but they lead at 8-3. All set to start the ninth in this one. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Rodolfo Castro. Castro. Ball to strike. The pitch. Ball. That one is upstairs. Two balls, one strike. And the pitch. Ah. And it's even up. And down on strikes. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Number 19, the next pirate to hit. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Fastball almost got him there. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Swing and a miss. And the count's even at two. 
What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely, and I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it surprised a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. The punch out there, now only one out remaining. Austin Hedges, the next Pirate to hit. 2-2 Two -two now. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Whether you're a season ticket holder or you just come to a couple of games a year, to see your team win at home, there's just something special about that. Good job by these guys to get it done for the hometown fans. 8-3 the final in this one. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Schaub. Thanks for joining us. Now is our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Dodgers, Adrian got 11 hits, one error. They left four men on base. For the Pirates, three runs on 10 hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game: three hours and 26 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely. Thank mm -hmm. you.